that was fun. Good morning, HMS, and welcome to HMS Today. I'm your host, Callie Hopkins. We hope you had a great week and finished strong. It's Friday. First up on our list of offerings is the ever-popular Fun Fact Friday. Hello, Mr. Rockwood, and take it away. Good morning, and welcome to another edition of Fun Fact Friday, our first edition of the 2019-2020 school year, I'm pleased to say. Did you know that in a room with 23 other people, there's a 50% chance that two of the people in that room will share a birthday? Now, doesn't that bring a whole new meaning to 23 and me? Now, speaking of animals, the largest living animal is the blue whale, which can measure up to as much as 100 feet or 30.48 meters. Now, getting on to something a little bit smaller. Don't like mosquitoes? Who does? Especially with the threat of triple E. What we need is cold weather or more bats. A single little brown bat can eat up to 1,000 mosquitoes an hour. Also, did you know that bats are more closely related to humans and other primates than they are to rodents? Also, they're the only mammals naturally capable of sustained flight. What we need is a deep freeze followed by, oh, four or five days of 50 degree weather or below. Talking about cold weather, did you know that your fingernails grow faster when you are cold? Also, other than humans, emperor penguins are the only warm-blooded animal to remain on Antarctica during the winter. That's it for today, folks. Keep it chill, be kind to one another, and read a great book this weekend. That was fun. See what I did there? All right. Have you seen the bins in the calf? Are you wondering what's the story there? Well, here comes Mr. Keller with all of the answers. Welcome to Minute with the Principal. Welcome to Minute with the Principal. Uh, as students, I'm sure you have seen the give back with a snack crate in the cafeteria, but you probably don't know the story behind it, where it's come from, and who's responsible for it. So I'm joined today by Sia, who is a student at Southboro in Southboro. Uh, so Sia, tell us all about Give Back with a Snack. Yeah, um, so my sister and I started Give Back with a Snack when we were in fifth grade, and um, we started noticing that many students would take would open like a bag of chips or a granola bar and eat a very small amount and then throw the rest away. And we knew that this wasn't right, so that's how we started to give back with the snack. And you may not realize it, but within every snack that you're putting in the bin, you're helping many people in need. So. And so you're in how many schools now? Right now, Give Back with the Snack um, is implemented in five schools, including Hopkinton Middle School, and we're hoping to expand that. So those of you that have been in nature's classroom know that we spend a lot of time conserving food and not wasting food. This is a great opportunity for us to expand that lesson and make sure that if we do have food that's not going to be eaten, that we can give it to somebody who, would, who, would, who could use it. So thank you for your efforts in putting this together. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Keller, and a special thanks to Sia and her sister. Give back with a snack. It's awesome. Let's top off that crate, HMS. But right now, let's check in with question of the day. Today we're asking... What's your most pointless talent? Playing video games. Juggling. I can touch my tongue to my nose. I can roll my R's. I can move my thumb in weird ways! <laughs> Karate chopping pencils in half. Doing weird accents, like, I think this one is a British accent. I can lip trill to the tune of, like, basically any song I know. <laughs> um, I can recite the whole Kardashian slash Jenner family tree. Excellent. Great answers. All right, let's roll the birthday scroll. Happy birthday, everybody. Now it's Have You Seen This Time. We had a great response this week, 15 submissions. Our gratitude to everyone who played. Out of all the answers, congratulations to Maeve Riley, who found it in the library. Everyone else, this is a picture of somewhere in the school. Have you seen this? 
Send us an email and tell us where it is, and from all the correct responses, we'll pick a winner for a candy-filled water bottle. And that's our show. You can see everything HMS TV on our website, hms.today, and tell us everything at hmstv at Thanks for watching.